In BC's southern interior, dozens of fires are burning and firefighters are bracing for another week of potentially dangerous weather. Rene Filipponi is in the Okanagan where hundreds of properties remain on evacuation alert. The smoke coming off the Mount Aeneas fire started as a puff this morning, but grew throughout the day. And that's exactly what the crews wanted to happen. In fact, they set it ablaze. A piece of unburned fuel between two fires. And uh, the objective was to remove that fuel in a controlled circumstance at our timing. For now, things are improving. The concern going forward is the hot weather on the way. The hope is the wind won't come with it. When this burn's completed, if everything goes as planned, we'll be in a much better position. Here, that's where you had the big 80-foot flames. And, and you could feel the heat here. Yes, you could, yeah. The Fitzpatrick family vineyard was shut down for three days because of how close the flames got. It reopened today. Gordon Fitzpatrick says when the fire started, everything seemed fine, and then the wind changed. But then uh, it shifted and uh, moved to the south, and uh, that's when uh, Mount uh, Aeneas, which uh, normal, which is right here, that's when that became a towering inferno. And uh, I would say at one point, you know, we were looking at flames that were, they must have been 80 feet high. A wedding booked here had to be moved. Fitzpatrick says in the end, the community really came together. The vineyards are uh, unscathed, and so um, despite uh, what was some uh, harrowing uh, moments, uh, we're back open for business at Fitzwine. Nearly every year, communities in the Okanagan are put on alert. Peachland is bustling today, but it's taken a hit over the past few days. The mayor says tourists stay away, and she thinks more could be done to get ahead of the fires. Once this is all said and done and the debriefing has taken place and there's a report on it, perhaps we could look at the higher levels of government and say, you know, we need more resources, we need more money put into the, the helicopters or the planes, the water bombers and uh, the personnel. At this point, most of the evacuation orders have been downgraded to evacuation alerts. But the message for people living near the fires, keep your bags packed because that could change. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Peachland.